<laughs> Hello and welcome back to the aspect of cast where we do Digimon and stuff. Hey, how do you like your Digimon? Uh, what? I don't know, I was going for a joke and no follow-up, so screw it. Let's just do this. As the image says, I don't understand it either. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you like them freaking medium or well done? <laughs> Uh, no. Medium. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was terrible. God, that scene was fucked. <laughs> so, hey, welcome to our The Fly reference. This whole episode's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah, this episode's pretty wild. I I feel like I have all right. I have one big thing to say out this episode. Why did Datamon not escape at the end? They had such a good chance for a recurring villain. Like, can you just imagine? Like, it's a mad scientist that experiments on Digimon. Can you just imagine how many easy scenarios they'd have for, like, plots involving this character? You could slum into, like, anything and it would make as much sense. What like... I under what I don't get is why you thought something like that would happen with like 70 episodes into the series. <laughs> because I'm desperate for plot progress, damn it. I've given up. You should probably also give up. <laughs> Please, ghost game. I just want a drop of recurring antagonist. <laughs> also, they call him Nano One? Oh, okay, that's his Japanese name. Yeah, yeah. Oh uh, god, this is fucked. The show doesn't want that. Just watch Savers if you want a mad scientist villain. Man, we really <sighs> should. I've never seen Savers, so that should be fun. I, th I thought Nanomon was a variant of Datamon. This is tiny. <laughs> no, it's just it's just a Datamon that just makes himself small. I got my hopes up so much because at the start you just see his hand and you just hear the laugh. And I'm like, oh, why are they keeping him a mystery? Surely they wouldn't do this if he's going to be both revealed and defeated in the same episode. They do that all the time. I don't know why. This time I was just like, oh, but maybe this will be the one. Maybe this will be the one time where the heroes will, like, fail to completely stop the villain's plans. And then something interesting will result in it. Please. The only, the only hope I had, and it's it's kind of morbid, but it's like the situation with the kid seems pretty hopeless. And it's like, are we gonna see the first human death? Like, not the first human death, I guess, but like the first the death first, on screen from a human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the first human death close to the main characters. Yeah. Or at least close to Keo. That's the Arthur I should probably mention, because it's like, oh yeah, you know, new character, new human, we've never seen him before. He knows about Digimon, he's been, like, directly affected by him. Chances on this guy being a tamer, since he literally lives at the dorm. <clears throat> We're never going to see this character again. Damn it. <laughs> Just... Like I, every, I just I every want time you're like to, oh yeah, every time you're like oh look at this character they look like they're going to be something it's like no, no but we're they, never going to see them again. But they have unique design and everything. Yeah, Let's so see what the background? Oh god, he has a unique design because he's relevant to this episode, and that they're never going to use him again. Jeez. Just, I I feel like, just like, any sympathy people had for the episodic storytelling is starting to run dry really hard at this point. Heck, if, if the Digimon, uh, what's it, Shadermon? Shad, it, yeah. It, Shad, yeah, whatever it's called, if Shadermon, Shadermon had, had survived, like, he dies at the end of the episode because the whole deal is... Okay, so here's the plot. 
uh, Shadramon dies at the beginning of the episode, and Datamon is like, and he's like, oh, I don't want to lose my memories, because apparently that happens when you die and revert to an egg. Yeah, God be reborn as a new person. <laughs> yeah, and Datamon's just like, well, I can, I can preserve your memories, are you okay with that? And he's like, yes, do it. And so the solution is you take the dying Digimon's data, and then you implant it into a human, and that's how we get what you're seeing on screen right now. Yeah, he grows out of the person, and he's like, okay, yeah, now how do I get free? And the answer is, <laughs> you don't. But at least he does keep his memories for a bit. Yeah, the problem is that because Shedramon was in the process of dying upon his data being, like, planted, I guess it just continued the process of him disintegrating. <laughs> yeah. Don't not. There's definitely a lot of not lying hats done, but there's quite a few that's still vying with the episodic stuff. And I've like I've I've seen like people that I like at least like. No, it's like yeah, so I fall on Twitter and like someone they're applying to and stuff, and they're just like they're both just like oh yeah, I'm so done with this crap. I'm finally dropping ghost games. Screw this. And I'm just like, oh, wow, even them, huh? <laughs> it's like, uh, that's probably not a good sign. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't hate Monster of the Week kind of deals, but this, like, this season's too long for it to just be that. Yeah, like, I... Monster I, of the yeah. Week works better if it's a shorter series, I think. <laughs> I'm fine with Monster of the Week. I just want there to be, like, any <coughs> carry over at all between <coughs> stories. Like, literally anything. Yeah. Also, like, every yeah. single time Espimon mentions looking for the real hero, I get mad. <laughs> yeah. Like, at least we have Espimon, but holy crap. Like... I feel like I've probably mentioned this before, but it's like, yeah, I used to, like, be super into Doctor Who. Like, I used to be a big fan of the show, and I was, like, going through, like, at least the Marvel Revised series and stuff, yo. Not so much the classic series, because holy crap, that's a lot. And it's, like, something important to mention is that every season would have elements just sort of be introduced and, like, stuff kind of, like, vaguely related to each other right now and then but it'd be, like, fairly episodic and, like, at the end of, say, like, 10 episodes or whatever, or, like, 12 or something, they'd, like, start bringing stuff back and they'd be like, oh, hey, you see all these, like, things we've built up before? We're going to, like, put them together and change the status quo and, like, you know, <coughs> do something meaningful with all these, like, plot points and developments we've built up or, you know... They'll have, like, you know, fairly frequent two-parters, or, like, you know, like, specials or something, or, like, literally anything to just develop the characters and keep you watching. Because as is, it's like, the only thing keeping you watching is the quality of each episode on its own merit. There's, like, there's no real hook between them, because we know nothing's going to happen. Yeah, we get... Uh, this episode teases some things. Like, like stuff I don't know what it means. Like, Hero's bracelet, like, lighting up with a new symbol and then is never addressed. Yeah, like, as frustrated as I am by, like, you know, the 11th Doctor hanging the whole weird mystery box thing, where they'll just be like, oh, hey, here's some weird thing happening in the background of, like, the season, and it'll just keep happening, and, oh, what does this mean? Like, at least that's, like, something to make you look at and be like, okay, I need to keep watching to know what the crap this is about, right? I guess. At, at best, with this series... It's Digimon comeback, like Mummymon, who yeah. plays a, a decent size role in this episode. And, uh, uh, like, yeah, I mean, that's basically it, just Digimon coming back. And then, like, the final two episodes will probably bring in all the people they've helped or something. 
<laughs> yeah. Characters being consistent, getting crumbs of information, mysteries being underwhelling in quotes on mysteries. Feels like they had ideas, but it's not execute. Oh, yeah, totally. The upgrade is killing basically. How? Who knows? Yeah, because they have to, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that could be all the all the symbol means is like, oh, we start to start getting ready to evolve into Mega. Man, I should probably I should probably give an example of why I talk about the Doctor Who thing, because there's like a bit in the Star of the Alliance series or whatever where it's like, oh yeah, you know, Doctor gets a new assistant and you know she's along for the ride and stuff, and they see a mysterious like crack in the wall that's glowing. And they're like, oh, why are what that's about? But no time to deal with that. And they'll leave, right? And they'll, like, deal with the plot. And it'll be like, okay, what's that crack about? And, you know, throughout, yeah, like, I... the... Yeah, and you'll, like, see no, I... the crack. And, you know, maybe you'll see a bit through it. And maybe it'll be related to something. Or someone will, like, say something about it. Yeah, I, I understand yeah. overworking plot threads. <laughs> Like, even something small like that would be, like, so appreciated right now. Just someone looking at any of these things and being like, Oh, that's odd, isn't it? Oh, well. I like the part where Mummy Mon flies out of nowhere with his machine gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's just... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I'd be freaked out, too, if I woke up and that was staring me in the face, honestly. <laughs> Mummy Mon just, like, just wakes the kid up <laughs> and he's just grinning like a psychopath. And the guy's like, him. ugh. I love him. <laughs> Jeez. We still don't know what my Osmond's up to. He hasn't showed up again. Yeah, who cares? He's doing vampire things somewhere. <laughs> He'll never pop up. Holy crap! We'll just we'll just never see those characters again. Nah, we'll we'll see we'll see Myotis Mon and uh, Matador Mon again. Are you like, sure? I mean, they made it a point to show them getting away, so probably. E like, even with Drachmon, even though they didn't actually do with it, anything with him ultimately, he still came back uh, after he escaped. <laughs> He's a businessman first. He's wrong his company. <laughs> oh, man. I. It's gonna be so funny if we get to the end of the series and, like, <clears throat> freaking Myosmon just never shows up again. <laughs> He's just gone forever. That just, would be pretty funny. He just disappears, and he's like, oh, we'll meet again, and they do not meet again. And it's like, well, I guess he just never bothered anyone again, and that's that. <laughs> you just, you just up see and... him hanging out at some point, and he's like, oh, yeah, the human world sure is nice, huh? He's just got, like, yo, an I Heart Tokyo t-shirt on or something, yo. He's just not doing anything evil. He's just in the background for, like, a second just to, to say, like, oh, yeah, I'm here, and that's all that comes of it. He just, he's just gone. <laughs> My Otis mind is just like, yeah, human world's pretty cool. I'm just chilling. <laughs> oh man, jeez, this. If nothing else, at least this episode gave us an anime appearance of Shadramon. And you know what? Shadramon is a cool Digimon. Seems pretty neat. Yeah, uh, this thing is exactly what you expect. It's Wormmon using the Digi Egg of Courage. Yeah, that's pretty rad. Uh, yeah, I also I was so confused when uh, Tesla Jellymon just like, oh yeah, evolve me and leave uh, leave it to me. I'll I'll defuse them, and then she turns into she's like evolving the Thetismon, and I'm like, what is her plan here? And the plan is to grab Shadramon and teleport him out of the, out of uh, the kid's body. 
I and it don't works. believe we've ever seen this character teleport before. It apparently is something she can do. <laughs> to be fair, we haven't seen very much of Thetis one. Man, I... <laughs> this, like... For this episode, I did something I don't usually do, which is I just straight up read the comments of the episode on, like, the uh. site I'm using. <laughs> and it's like, there was, like, no body... <laughs> It was crap, so bare true. bones. I I forgot that uh, Crunchyroll has a freaking comments section. Oh, I wasn't using Crunchyroll because screw them. But yeah, yeah, I use Crunchyroll. Uh, it was like no buy, and one of the few comments was like, "I'm so sick of Thesmon only being used as the group healer." And I'm like, <laughs> yo, what? Yeah. What the Fair. heck? She, yeah, they. That is one only comes out when she. It's like, oh, we need her to have a weird specific power that'll solve the problem. Why would you create? Like, why would you give Jellymon an ultimate form with punching gauntlets and like lightning powers and stuff? If she never uses her big iron punch gauntlets to punch things. <laughs> Oh to man! Top uh, very first comment looks like it's probably the most liked comment, which is why it's at the top. Uh, could we have? Could we? Uh, yeah, could we have finally got a hint of the story arc? Please. <laughs> yeah, more crunchy then, roll hate. I'm here for it. <laughs> Did they finally go to their like pay to watch model, or has that like not happened yet? I don't know. I I pay for premium anyways, not like whatever the cheapest of it is. Yeah. I don't know. It, it it's just convenient, you know. Last I heard, Crunchyroll was like, "Oh hey, we're disabling ads, and you'll have to pay to watch anime. So like, if you don't give us money, you can't watch the thing." And I was like, "Okay, well that sucks. I'm not using this side anymore." <laughs> That's fair, but I've been paying for the for the membership thing like this whole time anyway, so nothing's changed for me. Oh uh, yeah, I feel uh, like I stopped paying for that like a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, but yeah. Uh, Son of a Rudamon. It is worth knowing that apparently Datamon can be, like, sucked up with a magnet, which is weird, <laughs> and that's how they just stop him, and they just, they teleport well, that... Shadramon out of the body, and he just dies. Yeah, because he was dying at the time of his data extraction. Um, I don't know, I thought the magnet thing was a, was a clever way to deal with like oh we we have to get him out of there without hurting what's his face yeah it's it's fair enough but it's kind of goofy although it is funny that how they do that is they just like they just channel electricity through espamon's metal body yeah <laughs> like an actual attack it's like punishune or something yeah yeah you run electricity through metal and it creates a magnet yeah, it's just goofy of me that it's like, oh yeah, we're just going to use an attack on Espamon for this other effect. And he's just like, he seems like he's in pain as they're doing it. Yeah, it wasn't great, but I don't know. I I'm not a huge fan of Espamon, especially after the fake hero thing. Yeah, uh, I Espamon has not been winning me <clears throat> over. I, I was kind of hoping he would, but holy crap. Eh. One comment, really emulating the fans at the end, questioning Angoramon about his prose. God, that's Which, the other thing. I, yeah, I can get that, where Angoramon says something, like, poetic, and, it, and everyone looks at him like, what? <laughs> More people going sailing the high seas. So I'm, I'm so desperate for any plot in this show at all. That at the end, yo, Ruri turns her, she has to turn around and she's like, wait, what? And it, like, yo, cuts to the ender war, the, like, yo, Kratzer war, the crap. And I'm just sitting here like, wait a second, 
was all of this just so we could get the main group together with Mummy Mon for something to actually finally happen. And I looked at the next episode preview, and it's not that. It's not in the forest at all. There's nothing. It's It was literally just yeah. her being like, wait, what, Angormon? Yeah, something about, like, science without... Science without heart is darkness, and you need like heart in your science to illuminate the path or something. And Ruli's like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> He's a whatever character Espamon. Yeah, it's like Espamon's a whatever character. It feels like they pushed him too hard early on. And he's just sort of not been like that endearing to me. And he just keeps doing the dumb you're not the real hero thing. Which we already know is bullcrap and is frustrating. Because it just reminds me of the thing that like we thought was going to be a big plot thing. Yeah. Like, I... I was fine with Espimon when I thought like his involvement with whatever was going to go somewhere... And then it didn't go anywhere, and it's like, oh, uh, well, now I just don't like seeing you. Like, your existence on screen is just a waste of time. <laughs> Jeez, I, I'm so, like, done with this character. <laughs> it's like, I'm sure I'll do something eventually, but it's like, ah, come on. I feel like I was gonna say more. I've just I've just got nothing. Screw Espimon. <laughs> yeah, Espimon's whatever. How is Espimon like more hated by like me right now? Probably could phrase that better, but it's like, why do I hate Espimon more right now than I hate Naimon, the most annoying part of Dub Frontier? Yeah, I was gonna. I was about to say he's not that offensive in the original audio, actually. Yeah, Namoth's just kind of like you know off to the side, and he's just kind of vibing, and that makes him kind of like endearing in a weird way. Yeah, like you'll he's, just he's forget. like kind of yeah. He just kind of there being like a little comic relief character, but you'll, he doesn't. Yeah. He, but he hardly says anything, so it's not like it's not like oh, I hate how he like how goofy he is but it's like even if you hate stuff being overly goofy he doesn't say much <laughs> yeah it's like you just can't forget Namon's <laughs> there and it'll just say something dumb and it's like oh right yeah you're a thing <laughs> oh Namon and then Pokemon will snap his waistband or something and then yeah. the plot will continue <laughs> Do you think we'll evolve, but man, what a waste of a character. I, you, and him. He's just pointless at this point. Uh, Espimon, not Namon, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> Next episode. Hey, man, w would it be spooky if you were at a wedding? <laughs> <laughs> would that just no, be oh, terrifying? <laughs> actually, actually, the premise is, wouldn't it be spooky if you were at a wedding? In hell? <laughs> yeah we just come on this way we'll just you know have like the groom's family on this side bride's family on that one uh just you know don't do anything crazy and yeah we'll just enjoy some cake and get through this together right it's like yeah thanks satan <laughs> uh, uh, also like also I'm I'm preparing for it to go nowhere. I'm not getting my hopes up. Uh, Black Godamon shows up to take Datamon back to the digital world along with Shachamon's egg, and Hero gives him a another letter that he has written for his dad. <laughs> All I'm imagining is just everyone's like, "Oh no, it's a wedding in hell," and it's just the devil from South Park. <laughs> Uh, he's just super chill and like professional about it. Mm. <laughs> oh man, do do we have anything else to say about this? I no, I... not really. It's it's an all right episode. The action sequence is pretty fun. We get uh, returning Digimon, namely Mummymon. Hmm. <laughs> What hero just sent the letter to his dad? I don't even remember. 
Like for this one, uh, not the last one. It, it, it was something like it, it's like, what did you let write in the letter? And he's like, I wanted to tell my dad about my experiences with the Digimon I've met. So it's nothing important. It's it's not. Well, if he's like, oh yeah, I want to tell about the experiences. And his dad sends a letter back that's like. Oh yeah, uh, Gulus Gamamon, huh? You should be really concerned about that. I'm going home immediately. We need to kill that form. I need to revert Gamamon right now and reset his memories. And Hero's like, wait, what? And it's like, oh my god, we'll finally have plot from the most important sounding letter ever. If Hero's dad turns out to be the villain of the of the story. All right, cool. I wouldn't have seen yeah. it coming. At least, like, if he's, like, morally gray or something, yo. He's like, oh, yeah, well, he have to reset his memories to stop Gulu Scamamon, yo. That's a really bad Digimon. He's done a lot of bad things to people. Yeah. Like, I, I could... Ah, no, that's actually a stretch. But, like, if they did that, I would, like, respect it and it would make sense. It's a stretch, but it would be a good stretch. <laughs> I mean, really, <sighs> technically speaking, a lot of the Digimon we're dealing with are, like, doing bad things because Hero's dad <gasps> accidentally said something stupid. <laughs> and then didn't stop them or, like, clarify anything. Yeah. <laughs> So Hero Stat kind of is the villain, just not in the way you would expect. Not intentionally. Not intentionally. Oh man. So yeah, I guess we have anything else to say out this episode. Nah, that's about all I had to say. <laughs> the Digimon Ghost Game podcast we're doing might be the most depressing Digimon podcast out there. Because every week, it's just us getting progressively more and more sad and disappointed at Digimon Ghost Game. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of apathetic to it. Outside of cool stuff happening in the episode, it's just like... I'm not getting my hopes up for anything. They're failing to hook me other than just like, oh, the episode looks nice and some fun things happened, I yeah, guess. Yeah, exactly. Get my hopes up, damn it. Do something. <laughs> Take a yeah. risk. Nah, I've got I've gone full pessimism on this series until it does something to make me hopeful again. Welcome to the depression cast where we talk about our depression with the new Digimon. <laughs> Digimon fans are eating well tonight, but what they're eating is really sad. <laughs> hey, if they do something really cool, I'll get excited again. Oh, man. <laughs> so, yeah, should, should we end the podcast? Should we end the stream? <laughs> Probably. Alright, I guess I'll see you guys around. Yep. Later. Later.